we're at Windy Knoll Quarry, just outside Castleton. And just down the road behind me, there's Blue John Cavern and Treecliff Cavern, where they mine and sell this blue yellow fluorite uh, mineralization. And it's quite unusual to get this blue yellow color combined in fluorite. And it's produced by incorporation of tiny amounts of organic material into the fluorite. And in fact, here is a very small vein of Blue John. And you can see it's that really beautiful purple blue color. But we're in limestone here. Uh, you can see there are cracks and some of the cracks are filled with this Blue John. And on top, just above me, you can see that there's this dark band of kind of horizontally bedded uh, shales. And the thing about shale is that it has a very low porosity and that makes it impermeable to fluid flow. So any fluids that were coming up through the cracks in the limestone would meet that shale cap on top and not be able to go any further. And in fact, if you look at the shale up there, it's quite broken up and in the gaps in the shale, there's this brown, um, slightly sticky, highly viscous fluid that's been trapped there. It's very compressible, um, elastic, and if you sniff it, it smells like a petrol station forecourt. And that's actually crude oil. So this is a stratigraphic trap of what's called laterite, a type of crude oil. And it's actually the trapped oil here that provides the organics for making the color of Blue John. So it's a really nice example of all of these things coming together. So you've got the organics, which are being sourced from the limestones and the sediments below. Uh, you've got this stratigraphic trap that's actually concentrating it right at that boundary between the limestone and the, the shale above it. And then you've got the mineralization, which is incorporating these organics into the crystal structure to make the color as well. And that's why Blue John's so rare, because you have to have all of those things together.